Today I'm going to talk about alternatives to WordPress. Hi, I'm Ryan Hayden. I'm one of the founders of Build Online. We plan, design, and build custom software and custom apps for businesses and entrepreneurs. And I'm on a mission to help business people understand the world of software development. I make these videos every week. WordPress is by far the most popular blogging and website engine out there. There's something like half a billion websites that run some version of WordPress. There are thousands of WordPress templates and just as many WordPress plugins. From a developer perspective, there are three main reasons not to like WordPress. First, its template engine is kind of outdated and really hard to understand. Second, it's not really easy to add custom content types to WordPress. And third, because WordPress is so popular, it's a target for hackers. Now, on top of these reasons, WordPress is usually the first thing that most people do when they get into the world of web development. So a lot of developers kind of look at it like the kiddie pool. And worse than that, there are a lot of people that pass themselves off as web designers and developers who don't really know how to code, and they just set up everything with WordPress plugins and templates, which really rubs people like me the wrong way. WordPress is written in a language called PHP. And because it's so popular, people sometimes think it's synonymous with PHP. So WordPress sort of gives PHP a bad name. And as a PHP developer, I get really sick of having to defend something great because of its linked perception to WordPress. Whatever your reasons for disliking WordPress, there are a lot of alternatives. And because there's so many, I'm gonna let you know which I think is best according to your skill level on the web. So first, if you don't want to use WordPress and you have no development skills whatsoever, no experience, then you should use either Squarespace or Wix. These tools will allow you to buy a domain, choose a template, and set up a website with zero technical knowledge. I played around with both of these in the past and they are both excellent. If you don't want to use WordPress but you do have some design skills, and you want to have a little bit more control, then you should use a tool called Webflow. Webflow is what we use for our website at Build Online, and we've done some client websites with it. It provides a Photoshop-like interface for design, and it gives you full control. And what it does for us is it allows our designers to manage our website without bothering our developers. Just like Wix or Squarespace, you can start with some excellent templates, and you just have total control of everything. You can change anything you want. There's a, a big learning curve with Webflow, but once you learn it, it's great. Now, if you do have some development skills, like you know HTML and CSS, and you're willing to dig into code, I highly recommend a CMS called Statomic. Statomic has been around for a long time, and it just keeps getting better. It's a super flexible content management system that lets you add any content type you like. Uh, there's hundreds of different form options. There's a robust plugin and template community. And if you take the time to learn it, you can manage almost any kind of website or even an app with Statomic. One thing I love about Statomic is it doesn't use a database. So it's really easy to back up and move to other servers. Now let me wrap up this video by saying that WordPress is a fine CMS if you just wanna run a blog and if you're careful about keeping it secure and up to date. If you do go with WordPress, make sure that it is the only thing running on its server. And also make sure that you're super selective about your plugins and that you keep everything up to date. Also, don't let anyone talk you into using WordPress for a web app. We've had clients come to us who got bamboozled by some agency into building an app on top of WordPress. Come on. I mean, that's like trying to stitch together a mansion out of garden sheds from Home Depot. Why? If you want to build an app, almost any tool is better than WordPress. And if you'd like to learn more about building apps, I've created a free course over at softwarecrashcourse.com, seven short lessons where I explain the whole process of building an app and share what I think is the best of what I've learned, helping over a dozen apps get started. 
So go over to softwarecrashcourse.com and sign up for free today. I'll see you in the next video.